Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install your own personalized avatars in VR Chat. It's pretty simple, and the only things you will need is VR Chat, VR Chat mods, and the VRC SDK. Also, you will need Unity Engine, which you will be using to upload your avatar into VR Chat. So, now that you know these things, let's begin. And oh yeah, all of which you need will be down below in the links in the description. Let's continue. Okay, so the first thing you are going to want to do is head over to VRChat.com and either sign up or log in. Remember, if you have a Steam account, this won't work. You will need an official VR chat account in order for this to work. So keep this in mind. Once you've signed up or logged in, head down a little bit on the page and download your SDK. Once you do this, you're finished. Afterwards, you can head on over to the Unity website. There, you can download Unity Engine. Once you've done this, you're pretty much done. Install it. It'll take a while, so you should probably install this first. Once you install it, you're finished with that. After you've installed Unity Engine, you want to head over to vrcmods.com. Here you can find a selection of all types of mods and personalized avatars to upload into VR chat. So take a while, look around, and enjoy the site. And once you've found what you want to download, click download, and you're pretty much finished. Once you've downloaded your avatar that you want to upload into VR chat, you're pretty much done. You have all the things you need, so we'll be able to get started into uploading your own personal avatar into VR chat. At this point, you should have your VR chat mod, your VR chat SDK, and your VR chat Unity engine. Once you confirm that you've had all these things and there's a check mark for you, then you're all set. So now you're going to open up your Unity engine, or you could just click the VRC SDK and then click import. Once you import, this will take a little bit of time depending on your computer. It could take up to 5 to 10 minutes. But at the end of the day, it should not take too long. Once it's uploaded, you then want to double click or drag the avatar that you want into the bottom section where you see the VRC SDK folder. But, again, it's easier to just double click on it and then click import. But the choice is yours. You could do it either way. Once you have everything inside of your Unity engine, you then want to click at the top on the toolbar and click VR Chat SDK. Click on settings. From here, it'll sign in for you. Remember, this does not work with a Steam account. You will need an official VR chat account. So if you don't have one, just sign up for VR chat legitimately and then you'll be able to sign in. Signing in won't take too long, so you'll be able to sign in just fine from here. Once you've signed in, you now have access to the VR chat website or VR chat game, should I say? You'll be able to upload your avatar once you've completed it. But now, your main focus is to get started on uploading your avatar into VR Chat. In the bottom corner, just below your main window, you'll see two folders the folder of which the avatar you want to upload, and the VRC SDK folder. You can click on the VRC SDK folder, then hit examples and then drag the example A into the left side corner. 
And this will give you an example of what size your avatar should be. So once you've dragged it in there, you're all set. Click on the assets bar right above your folder. This will take you back to the main window where your window or character should be. Open your character folder and find your character. Drag your character into the example A scene window. You will see it in the left top hand corner right here as you can see on the screen. Once you've done this, you're pretty much set. If your avatar doesn't fit the size of the particular model here, then you can go over to the right hand side sidebar here and make some settings to your X, Y, and Z axis. As you can see here, there is an X, Y, and Z axis. You don't want to touch the top ones, but if it does not match the sides, you're going to change the settings on the three bottom bars as you can see here. These three bottom bars will change the size of your avatar, specifically the middle one. But changing all three of them to the same number will evenly proportion your avatar on whatever size that you make it. So keep that in mind. Once you've adjusted everything and is about the same size or a little bit taller or smaller, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same size. You can make it whatever size you want. But remember, it can't be too small and it can't be too big. Once you've done this, you're all set. You don't really need to do anything else from here. Head back over to the right side of your screen. Click on your plane and delete it. Now, click on your camera. Your camera position should already be set because of the example A preset for your camera. But you may want to adjust it depending on the size of your avatar. You can do that if you wish. But from here, you're pretty much set. The only thing you have to do is make sure you have a nice picture for your in-game avatar. Once you've checked and adjusted your camera perfectly, you're all set. Now, click on your VRC SDK. Click on Show Build Control Panel, and then click Upload and Publish. You should get an error message after this, but close it and ignore it. Name your avatar whatever name you'd like, and then hit Upload. You'll get a message saying that you successfully completed uploading your avatar into VRChat. You should now be able to open VRChat to check to see if you successfully uploaded your avatar. If you've done so, your avatar should be in the bottom corner in the first slot in Personal Avatars. And when you look there, you should see your newly uploaded avatar. You can now play as a personalized avatar that you selected yourself and made all on your own. I'd say in a game like this, uniqueness is best. Well, anyways guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope it was pretty much helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. Also, if this video was helpful to you, make sure to leave a like and share this with your friends. If you play VR chat a lot, or if it's your first time, I'd like to know what type of avatars you guys used. You can also leave that down in the comment section as well. But anyways, as I said, that's about it guys. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace and enjoy playing VR chat with your very own customized avatars. Take care. God bless. See you guys next time. Later. Hey guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.